Start with him, uh, Ryan. Tough times. What uh, what's the bull case here for crypto? Yeah, I mean, I missed the party last year, I yeah, guess. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but it's a heck of a lot easier to come on TV when the price is, is trading down 85 percent in some respects. Uh, I think if you look at the long term fundamentals of this asset class, things haven't really changed. We've seen Bitcoin get a little bit more resilient, a little stronger, thanks to some of the challenges of the past year. Layer two scaling solutions like Lightning, which facilitate smaller and much more rapid payments, have come online. We've seen uh, challenges from the Bitcoin hard fork kind of dissipate. Uh, at one point towards the end of last year, Bitcoin Cash was about 30% of the Bitcoin network. Now that ecosystem has had some inviting and has fallen down to a combined 7%. Um, and if you look at the developer activity and just the institutional interest in build, building tools that make this asset class more accessible, those have all improved drastically over the course of the past year. So price has fallen. It's done this about four or five times, 80 to 90 percent corrections. Um, if you look at any other time scale aside from just the last 12 months, this has been one of the top performing assets in the world. Mike, when you're looking at trying to do technical analysis, it's incredibly hard. There aren't many fundamentals to even go off when it comes to cryptocurrencies. When you're looking at Bitcoin, for example, we got Tom Lee, who's over at Fundstrat, who's saying, you know, I'm still seeing a much higher overall fair price fair value price where do you see fair value when it comes to in particular bitcoin uh, good question I, I i like to look at the migration process and it's very important to recognize what just ryan just said this is the past when the market was for the select few now it's institutionalized we're having more regulation adult supervision futures options even the bloomberg galaxy crypto index so the markets change and i for my key level i've been looking for over years a base where's the base for bitcoin and i still look around 1500 or so that's been the continuous mean that's bitcoin alone so it's more to fall basically but more to fall but getting closer but a lot of the indications are showing it's really getting close to forming that base indications are getting wearable oversold um, and finally seeing supply decline come off a little bit. I mean overall supply but overall the, and the key thing I want to watch is I need to see volatility get to new lows. The last time volatility 180 day volatility bottom at the low was 41 percent that was October 2015. That marked the beginning of the bull market. It needs to go to new lows and it's probably stay there for a while. I got a question for everybody though. We so that's unfortunate. He's predicting that Bitcoin will hit 1500 and then stabilize, which means you got another 50% uh, hit coming to people who are deciding to buy, buy in at the 3,000 range. Um, I don't know if he's correct, but I am going to go in with the mindset that this is something that could possibly happen. So I've uh, unfortunately invested a good amount of cryptocurrency, and I would say my average buy is in the seven, six thousand 6,000 range. So... I'm absolutely crushed in cryptos and, uh, and especially the altcoins. So it's a really tough pill to swallow. Fortunately, it's all capital that I can sit and patiently wait. And I am going to still put aside some money to continue to buy the dip. So if the price goes down to 2000 or 1500 I do have cash that I will be converting into crypto. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.